Yo, what's up guys? It's Franz here and we're back again with some RPG Maker MV. Well, like I said before, I am so clueless on how to do half of this, so we are going to work on some stuff here and we're going to do some tutorials for this for today, because honestly I don't know a thing about RPG Maker MV other than and let me do something for a minute. And like that. Let's just see it. And. Okay. Now, pull it back a little bit. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back to about there. We don't need the rest of it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, we're going to sit here and do some tutorials. Because I don't know how to do much on this. And this is more complex than, you know, RPG Maker Fest. But we're going to start with tutorial and basic maps. So. Let's see, warning during a tutorial, if you execute a command other than the one tutorial in the case, you can go to hold stop, help stop tutorial, stop the current tutorial, and start over. Click new project. New. Nope. Don't want to say changes. Uh, game title, we're just going to name it YT Game for YouTube Game for the heck of it, and go OK. Copy, 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 copy. Even though it's not showing up on there, I'll just give it a play by play. It's like copy and copy and copy. Maybe I can get it to show up. Oh, it's behind it. Eh. And there it is. Copy and copy. And we got ourselves a little map. On the right side of the screen on the map, on the upper left hand is the pa title palette. Title palette. Let me uh, close that down. The title palette, which would be this over here. And this over here. This is the title set. It's okay. And we're going to database, which I need to turn this back on. Oh, I have this wrong. I thought I had another window capture in here. Hold on. That makes you fun. No, I had another one. I know I had another one. Okay. So, database. Which we did show off yesterday. Okay, click the tile set for common events. Uh, tile set, okay. And then we want to go to world type and we want to go to area type. Ah, oh, okay, that's all that stuff. And then we're going to click okay, so that takes that. In the map mode, you can draw your map or event you can place, and in mode, you can place events. So, which currently in event mode, so we are in event mode, right? Yeah. So, event is this one, and this is tile map, so if you want to draw your map. Zoom the magnifying glass, zoom in, and zoom out. Which, that's the easy stuff, plus the control key, well, okay, so we need a control key, and that moves in and out, that's cool. And to center wheel the mouse, move the mouse here, that is, and then, click the actual size to be set, which is nice to have, that's cool. This of course is a protagonist, I guess, down here. Now you've done the map zooming, click, next is an explanation of that. Yeah. Down here. So yeah, down here is our, is our map, is our um, map name, which is map 001. Right click on it, and we are going to edit. And... Field map, we're just going to put it, I guess. And click OK. So it's just a field map now. Need to put some. 
Now we want to go to this. Click on tile set B, which would be this here, and click a town tile. So a lot of these, I've seen some of these, and some of them do look like the upscaled versions of what you found in RPG Maker Fest, which is pretty cool. So let's see, we want that's a tent. Um, we'll just grab this one right here, and we're going to put a town right. Select a cave. Select a cave, which I guess is this, and we're going to put that next to okay, the town and the cave map. Let's do simple map. Right click on a town map. Load, and we want. Oh wow! Look at all these different things that they have. We want town. So we have normal town, forest town, abandoned town, which is interesting, snow town. I'm actually going to go with the forest town. I mean, this is just a tutorial. We will do our own things. But look at this. Look, look how much more detailed this is than RPG Maker Fest. Like, look at how much more detail you got. How much more cooler it looks and everything, the walls and everything. And there's also these. Cool. I click on load cave map. Let's see, where we at, where we at, where we at. Wow. Waterfall forest, house, village, mansion, abandoned house. Okay, huh. What's the caves at? Caves, there's castles. Those look awesome. Demon castle looks really awesome. Hall of Transference, which is obviously going to be something you would have. Okay, we have stone cave, ice cave, ghost cave. Ooh, lava cave. <laughs> let's go with lava cave. Yeah, let's go with lava cave. And I already can tell right here, these squares right here are actually going to be your events. Next, we'll link each map to field event so they can be entered freely. Click on edit field map and click events. Come over to here, right click on town, and event creation transfer. And you want. Oh, okay, it's over here for some reason. Forest Town, and we're going to click right here, and click OK. So, sorry about that, guys. And then, that and transfer, we want to go to Field, click on, and hit OK. Copy. Right click and exit the tile, and, and exit tile, or the tile that fills for it. I didn't do that right at all. And paste. And the field map. Right click on cave. And same thing. Use creation. Transfer. It's not going to show up on there. Sorry, guys. And then go to force. Uh, not a cave. We're going to come down here and we're going to click one. OK, and kaboom. Then we're going to go to Lava Cave, and we're going to come down here. And this looks very interesting. Event transfer. And we're going to go app. And we're going to click OK. And OK. It. Now we're done placing a for events. Next, we will determine the player's initial position. And they want us to go to the town, which we went to. We went with normal town. Pick a town on the road. Go to set starting position. Oh, set starting position. Layer. And save. And lay. Hopefully, I can get this to work. 
Okay. Now let me pull this over here. Now let me make this work. I'm sure this will work for game capture. Let me turn that sound off for a minute. Holy wow. Hold on. Let me um find the game capture one. Turn this off for a second. Not that one. Turn this one off. Ah, okay, here we go. It's not gonna turn on, is it? No, it's not. Okay, that'll do for now. And as you can see, they have four characters with us right now. We can explore the town, which I gotta say, it is a nice sample town and everything. You have swords over here, you have armor. This looks so cool and everything. We will have our own built town and everything, but I just wanted to see. Go here. Hey, look, it actually lets us move. And then we can go to the cave. Oh, no, 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 it's lava, it's lava, it's lava, we're gonna die. It didn't let it, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, that's not supposed to happen. Oh boy. Something didn't go right there. Something didn't go right there. We need to go to Lava Cave, and we need to redo that. Well, actually, no. So, we do have that down. What is this? Did I say I clicked that over there, didn't I? Anyway, okay, so... Now, we're gonna delete everything we have, we just did. For the sake of it, we're just gonna delete everything we just did. Hold on. What in the... are you serious? Okay. Yeah, we deleted everything we just did because we didn't want to keep it anyway. It was just to do that tutorial so we could see what we needed to do. It took us about 10, 10, 11 minutes. And now... Let's see. Like, all the stuff that they have. Like, they have all these caves. So don't pick the lava cave unless you want to do something. You have an oasis. Look at all this stuff. You have like World 1, which that looks pretty cool. World 2, which looks like a smaller version. Oh, that's World 2. World 3 looks like it's a close-up version of that. Maybe World 4, which looks all snow. World 5. Okay, I want to see the size of these things. So. Okay, we're going to grab World 1, but we're not going to keep everything in World 1. So. And zoom out. I like World 1, but I'm not going to keep World 1. So I can't go any further out. I believe this is what we need. Oh, not the event. We want that. That's going to get rid of all of that. Okay, I don't know why I did that. But we can cover all this up. And this will erase every little thing that they did for that world. Okay. So the world is ready to go. We have just like A, B for adding stuff, and C. This, of course, is your encounter chips, which they have up to uh, 255. You can have up to 255 different encounter chips for the RPG Maker MV. If anybody remembers an RPG Maker Fest, the entire the um entire size of the encounters is one is what is ninety nine I believe. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have this thing at all ready to go, and I'm just I know. So yeah, RPG Maker Fest, you have very very little bit of room compared to this. So yeah, anybody more well, RPG Maker Fest is like the normal price of an act of like a any 3DS game, but RPG Maker MV is 80 bucks unless of course you got lucky on Steam and got it for like half like half the fraction of that. So what we want to do is grab some grass here, and what's cool is they also have a circle tool, so you can like go bam. <laughs> Let me see. Bam. And... Let me redo that one. Let me redo that one. 
Hey look, we have a really deformed Mickey Mouse! And then of course they have the paint tool, which makes you- Oh, that's the fill tool, isn't it? No. Oh. Is it? No, is it this one? Oh, that's a draw tool. I don't know why I would want to do that. Here we go, here it is. Yeah, here it is. See, here's the draw tool if I wanted to. And just do, like, my own designs. And everything, and just... I don't know if I can fill that in. There it is. Yeah. And then we have ourselves a little bit of an island, and another island up here, which is like a deformed Mickey Mouse head, if you ever wanted to do that. Then, of course, you can add yourself some lava, some mountains, some... If you wanted to, do some rocks. Ooh, wow, that's not what I wanted. Ah, that's too much! You could go around this thing and just be like... Which now? And of course you have like trees, and then you can go here. Grab yourself like if you wanted to do a city. Which I tried this and it doesn't work if you like pull over there, so let's go shoot in there. Did it actually work this time? Because I know I tried last time it didn't. Are you kidding me? Because I know last time it didn't. Last time I tried that and pulled them across, it just gave me one chip instead of both. So yeah, you, like, you have this little island here, you can grab yourself a castle, and the fall one. Damn. Okay, it is working. For some reason it didn't before. Then we come here, and where's all the roads? You know, I don't see any road. Is that some road? Then we can go... Boom. Uh, ah, bam. And you get yourself a little bit of road. First thing we need to do is come into the, uh, character making thing. There it is. And we can sit here and work on a character, too, what we want it to look like. Male and female. We, we can do the boy girl, I'm not sure. I don't know if we can do that in this one. Maybe we don't. But we could always just come in here and do a little bit of, like, facial... Making and like making what our character is going to look like. Now, the only time the face, it seems like this part of the face is actually needed is when it's like cutscenes and you're going to use his face. Which in this one, it looks like you don't have to worry about like what, like if you go to do like a cutscene, happen to find that person's face because it's probably on, it's going to be automatic. The front hair, you can do this is cool because you can do bam, he's bald, but he has himself that. Or, or, he has this, or this, or this, which makes no sense. That does look like it's a little bit more fuller, but you can't see on his, um, yeah, he's bald in the back. Now, the front hair, you don't need to have all the time. The rear hair works sometimes, too, like that, 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 too. That's a good one. There's that. Front hair is usually just, like, the bangs or something. Or we could do this. This is also a nice one. Randomizer! Get yourself some cool characters off from here. Like just randomize your character up a little bit. See if it, that's if you want to do it that way. If you want to actually make your own characters, it's pretty good that way too. He does that, but let's go to face and go boom and make him green. Ha! Ah, we have we have an alien. Let me know what you guys think about that and what we should have our character be. Uh, face image. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Doesn't show up on it, that's fun. Walking character, walk, 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 walk. Does he, did they really? I don't see it on here, but that's funny. I can be a fact of adult character, I don't know if I can get it to come up. Yeah, see, it's got battle characters, and like one of them down here is got its tongue sticking out. At least that's what it looks like. So that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Okay, so yeah, you have like facial hair, like facial marks, which you can make clown face. Which I don't know why you even want. Like, see, you have like you can do tattoos and stuff. 
really not much you can do for anything below the face and the upper oh, um, torso area, like the um, upper chest area. The clothing will change a little bit. That will usually change in the other pictures. Like that. And then you have your cloak, which he has one on, which we can get rid of if we want to show off the rest of his suit. Which, that's cool if you have, like, somebody who wants to be, like, a monk or, like, one of those monks or something. Accessories, you have the face mask. Pirate patch. They also have accessories, too, which are mostly hats. There's that. See, so if you put that one on, and then you put that one on. I don't know what exactly what that is, but, you know. Where did the ears come from? Oh, the beast ears. Here they are. You want to make a teddy bear guy, or a girl, puppy. A lot, of, lot more on here, which is pretty nice. Glasses, which, well, let's take that accessory too off. I like the glasses, I really do. Got the like a boss glasses on, which looks pretty cool. So, yeah. But of course, that's not saved. I don't know how exactly how to save it. We can come back out here again. We can go. Oh, yeah, we need to go to the event. That's right. There you go. Start point. Fire. And then we can, of course, hit the play button. Uh, yeah, we have to say we have to do save changes or else it won't work. This is probably gonna get a little. Oh, I have the sound off. That shit, guys. Let me uh, get this to show up. There we go. There we go. And then actually shows up right. <sighs> did I just do that? Yeah, I think I just did that. Whoops. We have ourselves a little town here that you can go to. Four characters and all. And there'll be a nice little castle. I'm not saying this is how this is going to actually look. But. Yeah. It looks awesome. Can I just close out our beginning at Grand B? I'm pretty sure I just did. I didn't mean to. Okay. So yeah. There's that. Yeah. I closed it. Yeah, if I end up closing it. I don't know how. It's starting to close on me. But we have ourselves our game right here. Let me close that off. Going off. But yes. So far, as you can see, we have ourselves a little bit of map. Done. I mean, we're going to add to it, of course. We're going to add mountains, and we're going to have some, maybe some winter stuff over here. And maybe some more, um, let me, uh, grab this. Get off the events, grab that. Let's grab some winter right here, actually. So. Everything past here. Which, it's nice to have that little draw tool because you can come in. Zoom in. Which the zoom in was a little bit faster and just... Take your time and everything. He thought, and I thought RPG Maker, um, um, fastest time consuming this is going to be majorly time consuming for all this. And it's going to be a lot more trial and error. Because there's a lot more you can do. There's a lot more, um, there's a lot more freedom. And like I said before, if you like want to do your own monsters, if you're good at, if you're good at spriting, which I need to work on that if I want to. You can actually sit there and make a lot more. You can make a lot, like, a lot of weapons if you want to in sprite form, if you're good at it. Not really much good at anything when it comes to that. You can also make monsters. If you're really good at monsters, you can make monsters for yourself and everything. There's, like, almost... Like, in the fact that if you're really good at JavaScript, they have that portion, too, where you can probably make anything that you want for your RPG makerness, for what you want your game to be, I'm pretty sure. Like, you can even make your own battle systems and everything. I could be totally wrong on that. I've never 
I probably touched this, but it's a backup for uh, because Fast is unusable right now. Well, it's not unusable, it's just the 3DS capture card is. Oh yeah, there's the fill tool, so since that's all done, we can fill that, there, there, bam, 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 bam. And that's not going to be the only bit, but for now, it's good. So we can come up here and we can save, and it looks like we are all out of time for today. Now before I go, and I should have mentioned this at the beginning, we will not be here tomorrow. Or Saturday. Tomorrow we are, I'm out of town. I'm going to my nephew's birthday was yesterday. And we're going to have a birthday party for him tomorrow. So I'm not going to be here. And Saturday I'm going to get more acclimated with this. So Sunday we can go and have ourselves a lot more done than just doing a tutorial. And I'll have this. I'll have an overlay for this which I also need to do on Saturday. And we'll have a little bit better system set up. So then when pages pop up I don't have to sit there and keep clicking through them. But until then, my name is the France. Thank you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And let's do something special here. Hopefully, in the near future, here in the next week or two, I can have my my um 3ds capture card working again, so we can get back to fest. Or if not, we can see it working on this. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on all of this. But until till Sunday, I will see you guys on Sunday, and you guys have a nice weekend.